All right, it looks like we are once again live. Welcome everybody to another episode of Yankees America Guns and Freedom Podcast. Uh, if you've never been here before, this is just a conversation between myself and my viewers. Uh, although you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to, you can talk amongst yourselves over there in the live chat. It's a place you can come every day for about an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. However, if you do want to talk to me, that's why I'm here. I'm here so you can ask me questions, you can suggest topics you might want to hear my opinion on, or most importantly, so that I'm accessible if anybody wants to call me out. If anyone disagrees with anything I say, they think I'm factually wrong, or they just uh, have a different opinion than me, they can let me know and they can come here in this live feed and tell people why I'm wrong or how they think I'm mistaken. They can call me out on it, make me defend my position. Uh, I welcome anybody who wants to do that. Uh, it's easy to do. Come on in and have your say. All you got to do is let me know you want to come in. And all you got to do to ask me questions or let me know you want to come in and call me out is put your questions or comments or statements or whatever over here in the live chat and put at the Yankee Marshall in front of your questions or comments. That will pop a little red box up around it and I will see it. You won't see it, but I will. And uh, that will help me see your questions, answer things, etc. Do not repeat questions if I don't get to yours right away because it takes me a while to get to questions. I'm usually 10, 15 minutes behind uh, up, right up until the end of the show. So uh, please don't repeat questions. It really screws up where I'm at in the chat if I see things in different places and I think, well, I've already been here. So don't do that. Uh, in fact, mods will uh, ban you for that if you keep doing it, if you make a hit habit of it. So uh, please don't. Uh, <clears throat> it might take me five, 10 minutes to get to your chat. Just be patient. Uh, if I miss it, I'm sorry. I didn't miss it on purpose. It happens though. I don't dodge questions, but sometimes I do miss them. Uh, if you've got a question or a comment you definitely want seen, you just want to jump to the front of the line, or you want to donate to the Pets and Vets funds, or you want to be entered into the hat slash t-shirt slash small flag drawing at the end of the show, which we do at the end of every show, uh, you can do a super chat. As long as we get 20 entries or more, we will do uh, a drawing at the end. Uh, and an entry, to get entries, you get uh, one entry for $2, you get three entries for five, you get seven for 10, and you get 15 for 20. So as long as we get 20 entries, and as you can see, they'll pile up fast. Uh, you can do super chats, like I said. That way you don't have to wait to see if I get to your question. And you can fund the Pets and Vets program or help fund it. And you can get entered into a drawing at the end of the show. So uh, feel free to do that. Other ways you can support Pets and Vets, uh, the Friend uh, program and the Voices programs. Uh, okay, that was Zyler's tax return get accepted. Uh, <clears throat> I just did the taxes a few minutes ago. I've been putting off everything. I haven't done mine yet. We still got to do ours, but I usually file an extension on ours and do them when I can. Uh, so uh, that still has yet to come. But uh, as I was saying, if you want to donate to the Pets uh, and Vets Fund or the Friend Drawing or the uh, uh, Voices program, you can go become a patron over on patreon.com. We're desperately in need of patrons. I don't think we lost any patrons today, but we did have one person downgrade, which put Patreon in a bad situation because we are now at the lowest for the first time in a long time. We're making less uh, on Patreon than what our automatic deductions are every month for specific charities we donate to. And then you got to add uh, other stuff on top of that, like the other channels we support. So we are big in negative territory on Patreon now, and I can't continue to do that for very long. So we may have to suspend the friend program pretty soon. Uh, <clears throat> that's the one I'm going to suspend if I suspend one. It's going to be the friend program because uh, I, I want to keep doing pets and vets. I want to keep doing voices. I think that's important. Uh, we definitely want to keep doing TY and Triple P. So the friend program will be the half, be the first one suspended. Uh, I hope it doesn't get suspended like Handguns for Heroes did. Remember, Handguns for Heroes got suspended when we started losing money. Uh, and it ain't ever come back. It's just dead, I think. <clears throat> so hopefully the same thing won't happen with the friend program. Hopefully it will be temporary. Uh, and we can get numbers back up. But I ain't seen numbers climbing for a while. So we'll have to wait and see. But like I was saying, you can go over and become a patron. We desperately need patrons. That supports Pets and Vets. 
uh, the Friends program and uh, the Voices program. So go on over there, become a supporter of the channel. It's only a few bucks a month for you, uh, but for a lot of animals in need, etc., it's a big difference. And who watching this, who watching my videos can't afford two or three dollars a month to go towards uh, solid programs and good causes. So don't be a cheap bastard. Don't be a cheap bitch. Uh, go over and donate a couple of dollars. Plus, you get to come to the members only chats like tomorrow if you're a member. So go do it or else. Uh, <clears throat> the other program we run is a TUIM a triple P. Uh, that is a program where we try to put firearms into the homes as many low income families as we can in this country that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Because not only is the right to self-defense for everybody, not just those who make good money, but it's also uh, a, factor, a, a fact that every house we put a firearm into that would otherwise not have one, we increase the reach of the gun community. We try to uh, make it... Uh, a, a bigger tent every time we bring, because you never know the kids in that family, whatever could have grown up anti-gun, but now they'll see good examples of gun ownership in their parents and uh, will make a big difference. Oh, no, wait, someone canceled their membership just now. So we did lose somebody. One person downgraded and we just lost someone just now or two hours ago. They, they downgraded or they uh, canceled. Ah, uh, where was I at? Oh, I was talking about TY and Triple P. Now, if you want to sign up for TY and Triple P, go on over to TYMPPistolProject.com. Like it says right down here in the bottom of the window here, the feed, if you're watching this uh, instead of just listening. Uh, and you can go over there and you can either sign up for TY and Triple P if you think you qualify or, or if you think it's a good program and you just want to support it, like I said, quit being cheap bitches, you can go over there and become a subscribe star member. Now subscribe star is different. And then that it, in that it supports T Y and triple P it is the main support for T Y and triple P. And also you can support T Y and triple P by buying merchandise. Uh, the newest one is the one I showed yesterday. Uh, where did it go? Uh, Oh, I know I made it yesterday. I showed it yesterday. Oh, there it is right there. Well, I'll just show the mug here. I got the picture of the mug right here. Uh, this is the mug with the design on it. This is the newest design that's available over there. It's all it's all now available on mugs, t-shirts, uh, magnets, and stickers over there. In a world without guns, a board with a nail in it becomes the root of all evil. Uh, like I said, I had to explain that one today because people were uh, not getting it. Uh either they're not Simpsons fans or they just didn't get the overall gist of it. So I explained it today. <clears throat> so go on over there, buy some merchandise or sign up to subscribe star. If you want to support T Y and triple P, if you want to support pets and vets, go be a patron. All right. Now I want to read, uh, orders we got today to thank people for helping support, uh, 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 the program. We got two orders today. We got Richard Amidala or Amadalo or Armadillo or Amadola. Amendola. I don't know how you say that name. Uh, he got a root of all t-shirt, a uh, root of all evil dad hat. That's the uh, board with a nail in it design. That's the root of all evil. He got a hat. That actually looks good on a hat. I, I was surprised how good that design lended itself to a hat. Dane Fredrickson got a fuck Joe Biden t-shirt. Uh, I, I want to change the name of that to the FJB t-shirt, but in some places I've still left it as the F Joe Biden t-shirt. But whether you see it as FJB or F Joe Biden, it's the same shirt. They got one of those. Um, so that's all the people that bought merchandise today. We'll say thanks to them for help support the cause. Uh, now let's go over here, see if there's any uh, chats coming in. Five, four, five by three, nine, got his ass in gear and got in here early tonight and said Punva, P and V. But in his case, it doesn't mean pets and vets. It means one pterosaur, one velociraptor. After he's adopted, I am raising and he's paying his child support payments on. Uh, Peter D used his 35 month WAP chat. Uh, Yankum, think back to your 30s. 
if your wife went out with her friends for a night without you and got hit on by some guy, would that piss you off? No. I don't know why people would be pissed by things like that. If your significant other goes out without you and gets hit on, well, that just shows you chose well in your significant other. Now, if you find out they went out and had sex with someone, that'd be different. Of course, I'd be jealous in my 30s. I'd be upset. Uh, but even then, I wouldn't be as mad. Like, I would be a lot angrier. I'd be a lot less mad, I should say. If I found out uh, my better half, if I was anyone out there and I found out my significant other was uh, had had a one-night stand with someone, well, that'd be disappointing, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, I could uh, I can understand that people have urges and they have weak moments, etc. However, if I found out that they were like seeing someone behind my back and it wasn't even sexual, but like say they were having uh, meetups with an old boyfriend for coffee once a week or something, well, that would piss me off because that's like an emotional betrayal. That's like uh, like they're having an affair, and that would bother me way more. Uh, DM Fowl said just because and he gifted a membership. I don't know who he gifted it to. Let's see if we can see. Uh, Boulder Creek got it. Boulder Creek got that membership. Just mad, just uh, basically when they do the members free memberships, they just throw it in the air like a lawn dart, and it just wherever you're standing, you're the lucky person that gets their skull punctured. <clears throat> so I guess it, it's very random. Uh, Mike and D said, because of Paul needs a hand. Colorado passed an assault weapons ban. Soon half the states will have assault weapons ban. Then they will then they will claim standing. So does the squat. Well, no, that's not how standing works. It, not just majority doesn't make standing for a, 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 a political principle. Uh, but no, and I don't think it will be the half the states. Well, let's see. What states have assault weapons bans? States with assault weapons bans. Because we got more than half the states now are constitutional carry. Uh, it's only 10 states. Uh, it says here Colorado makes the 10th state to have an assault weapons ban. That's not anywhere close to half. Uh, and considering that the number of states that are constitutional carry has climbed much faster than states in, uh, instituting assault weapons ban, looks like things are going the other way. It's real easy to try to make things seem negative, but it doesn't look like they're that negative. Uh, and plus, assault weapons ban are uh, not long for the world if the Supreme Court does their job. And most people have already said that. In fact, Bloomberg, uh, the or Bloomberg organization even came out and said that the days of assault weapons bans are numbered. So they need to start thinking up other ways to uh, try to protect the citizens, which we know that's not their uh, goal, but th they've stated that already. Uh, Eric Wong, and we all, what well, we say about Wongs, uh, two Wongs don't make a white. Uh, he got some magnets. He went on and got some magnets. Did he get any of the new designs on a magnet? No, these are all old magnets. Well, the Kermit one's the newest one, but he got some uh, magnets. <clears throat> so thanks for supporting TYM Triple P and helping put. Uh, helping spread the or enlarge the gun community tent, I guess I should say. I'm in a reasonably good mood because I got all the taxes done except for my extension for it. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Uh, <clears throat> one of my sons, Zyler, uh, when he, on his first job, he made the mistake of telling him not to take out taxes because he misunderstood what it meant. And I ended up having to cover his taxes last year. Luckily, this year he paid into his taxes. So he's actually getting $13 back. Uh, Caden is getting back a few hundred dollars, but it's all going to me to help pay our taxes because we support him and we're claiming him as a benefit, as a, a, a what do you call it? A, a dependent. So. <clears throat> I always told him your tax refund goes straight to paying our taxes because we fucking support you. I'm, lit, I'm eating salt off my little napkin here because apparently uh, Subway now does uh, soft pretzels and they weren't bad. A little chewy, but not bad, I have to say. Of course, by the time I got to eat them, they were hour or so old because 
you know, they had to bring them home. But uh, Caden brought me two pretzels from uh, Subway, and they were actually not bad. They taste pretty good. They were just, like I said, a little chewy, but that wasn't too bad. Not like those ones you get at, like, movie theaters and stuff, you know, the pre-made pretzel-shaped ones that are, like, <clears throat> where you got to rip a piece off, and then it's, <clears throat> it's not like that. They were just a little chewy. Uh, but uh, where was I? Let me go back over here to the chat. I read all the orders, even the one that just came in. Uh, I read, we haven't got any new patrons. Uh, well, we lost a patron and we got, uh, we, lost, we didn't lose any subscribe star members though. So that's good. So let's go over and start answering questions. Do, 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 do. A whelper put in a, I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I've been going to bed every night by midnight. I went to bed last night. Well, I went to bed last night at one, but I don't know what's wrong. I think it's from where I was sick, but I'm feeling better now. Today, I feel much better today. I've still got a little bit of a residual cough, but apparently that with the COVID, that can last a while afterwards. <clears throat> uh, let's go for Super Z questions coming in. Good evening, Yankee. It's not a question. It's a statement, but. You have to travel across the moors at night during Halloween season. Do you carry scandium frame or stainless? Oh, I don't think it'll matter. Uh, but if I'm going to know I'm going to be doing it, I'm probably going to take, a, the, you know, a bigger gun, like a Smith & Wesson 586 or something. I'm not going to go with a, a J-frame. But, you know, I might carry my 8-frame uh, 320, uh, 327. Eight shots loaded up with. I actually do have enough 357 silver bullet, Magnum silver bullets to fill a seven shot, <coughs> excuse me, an eight shot 357 Magnum. But if I knew I was going to be doing it, although that gun has a very short barrel, very light, very easy maneuver, I probably would carry the 327 loaded with eight rounds of, of uh, silver bullets. <coughs> I got a new Tit Sauce Yukon 1911 carry in 10 millimeter. Didn't we look that one up there tonight? I think we looked it up. Tit Sauce Yukon. <clears throat> Did you get the carry model? Yes, you said the carry model. Yeah, we looked that up there tonight. I like the way it's kind of a classic look. I like the, uh, uh, the carry cut on the back. Uh, I think it needs a magwell, but you know. You can add mag. They make magwells that are made for uh, carry cut guns. So, but uh, yeah, those look pretty nice. <clears throat> uh, let's see where am I at? Do, do, do. Good evening, ye old fartet. Uh, what's on that possum T-shirt you're wearing? It's just uh, possums howling at the moon. And they're not wear possums. They're just regular possums. Some people like to think, oh, see, there's wear possums. No, those are just possums howling at the moon. For whatever reason, possums want to do that. I, I'm not, I don't judge. Uh, what is the best thing Trump can do for 2A if he wins? <clears throat> well, there's lots of good things that any president could do for 2A. That would be to encourage Congress to start passing laws about assault weapons, bans, etc., uh, stating, you know, could they could have Congress make a law that says that uh, the federal second, the second amendment of the constitution means this and no state can violate the meaning of the second amendment. They could do that even. So there's lots of good things they could do. They could, they couldn't do it themselves. There's not much they can do themselves. Uh, but, uh, you know, they could try to encourage Congress to do something. But Trump wouldn't, just like Biden won't. Uh, Dale Riggity said, I got nothing. Nothing to add to the conversation, he means. He's got something. He's not sitting there, you know, in his skivvies in the middle of a vacant lot. At least I hope not. I don't know what he likes to do on his day off, or how he likes to spend his Sundays. But I hope he's not doing that. <laughs> um, let me see, where was I over here? It jumped on me. Uh, did you see the story of the kid who accidentally brought a pistol to school? His dad actually left it in his backpack 
and is facing charges for negligence if memory serves me. Now, I didn't see that. Why is a dad putting a gun in a kid's backpack? That makes no sense to me. If longest word in the diction, what? If longest word in the dictionary, if my dog hadn't stopped to take a shit, he would have caught the rabbit. What? I, I, what? <clears throat> Where can we get the opossum shirt? I do not know. I did not get this shirt. This shirt was a gift from a viewer. So you should probably ask them where they got it. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you can find it on the internet. Let me see. Yeah, there's. they got it right here. Uh, apparently, it's on the internet. What's well, slightly different than this one, that one is. But they're saying, but you can go, uh, T Public has it. Just uh, uh, Google possums howling at the moon shirt and uh, you'll find it. Uh, that was John Mandrick asking that, by the way. I have a SIG P365XL 3.7 inch barrel with a 90 grain Plus P, non P, or 24 grain be best. Well, I don't know. Depends on what ammo you're using. Uh, not all ammo is created the same just because it's the same bullet weight. So no, that's you don't not enough information there to make a diff make a decision. But uh, if I was going to carry a P365, uh, I'd probably get a 124 grain. Or no, actually, I'd probably go with what what. Bring me is that ammo I use for? Do I have any of it out over here? Let's see. I haven't shot it for a while, so I don't think I got any out. Uh, but I use the Fort Scott uh, Tumble Upon Impact. I don't remember what grain it is. But I like the Fort Scott and the uh, Underwood <clears throat> 9 millimeter. I also use quite a bit of uh okay that out oh the 115 grain uh the 115 grain jacketed hollow point the plus p9 millimeter from uh minuteman ammo is uh plenty powerful and uh you can get it at like it's almost range prices but it's defense quality that's their whole point of their company i got a ten dollar donation from john mandrick over on paypal uh, I, don't, I shouldn't be eating this salt. My blood pressure is high enough, but it's good. Rock salt. Um, let's see, where was I? <clears throat> SCOTUS has rejected every... No, they have not. They have not as, uh, rejected every assault weapons case. You're absolutely wrong. There are a couple of instances where they've said that they're not going to issue immediate injunctions. They're going to wait for it to come to them in the proper format, but they have not rejected every assault weapons case. You're completely misreading what happens. Uh, a scumbag in Wyoming hit a wolf with his snowmobile. Then he muzzled it, showed it off to his friends and illegally shot it to death. He only got a $25, a $250 fine. The fine should have been, they should have cut off both his hands. I would have been more okay with that. Uh, I know five human flea couples where the woman is taller and heavier than her male partner. Well, wow, that's not that uncommon in the South. Go to Arkansas. That's like every other couple. Kentucky does that too. Just very common there. I don't know why. Big women. They breed big women and skinny men. I think it's got something to do with the men being on meth and the women being on disability with the fibromyalgia. Uh, <clears throat> did you get around to sounding out my email yet? It's been so long I forgot why I wrote in it, but your taxes are more important. No, I haven't read anything yet. Like I said, I've been going better every night. 
Officer Tater Aider, I sent you emails about a Florida cop shot by another Florida cop in training and, of course, no charges. Well, of course, that's what you said in the thing. They investigated themselves and found no wrongdoing. As Rick says, Ray Charles saw that doing. Yeah, they. well, that's all that law enforcement does. It investigates itself. And people say, oh, well, if it's an outside jurisdiction comes in. And does, well, it's not usually an outside jurisdiction. It's usually the same district attorney in the same state or same county that does it. And they're not out to put cops in jail because they need those same cops to cooperate with them when they're trying to make cases so that they get raises and promotions by getting convictions. So they're not going to turn the police department against them by prosecuting a member of the police department. Do you know any good holsters for a Beretta 90 series with an optic mount? I'm trying to find a quality holster for my M9A4. What was it I got? Uh, I think it was a 1791 makes one. It's not a very, it's not a specific for a Beretta, but it actually holds it very well. I was surprised at how good it is. But uh, Beretta 92 with optics holsters aren't that hard to get. I mean, if you're wanting to get a custom, there a lot of people make them. But if you're wanting one off the shelf, I would look into 1791. Do you support the practice of cats spay, neuter, and release for stray cats? Well, yes, of course. It's better than if you can't give them all homes. At least you can prevent new generations of strays. Is there a three or four inch version of the Smith and Wesson 327? Uh, there used to be uh, in the Night Guard series, but there's not any more. Now it's just 327 in the short barrel, and uh, you know you can get a 627 in different barrel lengths. <laughs> what barrel lengths can you get the 627? Is it just the one barrel length nowadays? Or let's see, let's go to SmithandWesson.com. All I got to do is type S, and it goes to Smith and Wesson. Uh, products revolvers uh, in frame caliber uh, let's see in 627 what do they make now they uh, well they got the TRR8 I guess that's technically uh uh, a 327 that's with a five inch barrel though but uh they make a, a regular 627 in the uh two and a half inch barrel and they make it in the four or the five inch barrel and they make it in the four inch barrel uh, and they make it in the great big long barrel of course but uh i don't see a a, a scandium frame in the shorter barrels uh, or in the, in the three or four inch barrel. Now the, the TRR8 has a five inch barrel uh, and it has the scandium frame. And so that makes it, it's technically a 327, but did you ask specifically for three or four inch? Uh, I don't really remember. Is there a th yeah, three or four? There's not a three or four anymore. <clears throat> um, Skid Mark said hello, peeps, with his 25 month WAP chat. Hey, my mustache itches. You said you charged a firearm to your credit card. If it's an $800 firearm, what are the frequencies and amount of payments? I want to do the same method. Well, I always just pay off whatever my last balance was on my credit card because that way I don't have to pay, to pay interest. Uh, so if I buy a gun, I get like, I can make up to four weekly payments before it comes to the next cycle. So I got to divide it into four and make those payments, uh, weekly out of my allowance. But right now I haven't been able to do that because I had to get, a, had to get a computer for Caden and blah, blah, blah. So I got to pay that off too, before I can buy another gun. I couldn't even put a mini 30 on layaway the other day because I couldn't spare the 200 bucks to put it on layaway. So you should all feel very sorry for me. You should send me money in the mail. Uh, you said if SCOTUS takes it, I said if biggest word of addiction. No, it's SCOTUS is already going to take it. They're not going to have any other option. It's the Illinois cases uh, and the New York cases are already set for hearing and already are on uh, 
uh, the list to be put on dockets. So they're going to happen. They're just stalling it for as long as they can. Um, would you rather be a werewolf or a werepossum? I'd rather be a werewolf. Because I can't imagine where possums do have much fun because possums are very beneficial animals. So like I said, uh, you know, a werewolf is even more aggressive than a wolf. A werepossum, I assume, would just be friendlier than a regular possum. Uh, like I said, a werepossum, a possum eats ticks and uh, uh, helps produce snake venom uh, antidotes or antivenom and stuff like that. And so I assume a werepossum would do stuff like, you know, paint your house. Uh, change oil in your car, you know, like if you'd be, you'd wake up one morning, you're like, oh my God, who mowed the lawn and painted the garage? It'd be, oh no, we were the victim of wear possums. And that seems like a lot of work, so I don't want to do that. Uh, hello, Yanks. Funny money doohickey as usual. Yes, he's got that funny money with the little L. And how does an L stand for pounds? I don't know how that really works. Uh, John Heasley just upped his membership on Patreon. I'm hoping my sister's coming over this week to uh, send out all my stickers and stuff. I want to pay her. Uh, the local SWAT team in Vegas failed to raid a house, and they had to get a demolition team to destroy the house to get the man. Is this a failure? Uh it seems kind of ridiculous to me. I don't know if it's a fail, but it seems a little ridiculous. The 90 grain would be Lehigh Defense. Well, probably it's something that lightweight. Uh, an elderly Ohio man fatally shot an Uber driver who drove a crook to his place who stole packages off his porch. So the Uber driver had the no idea the passenger was a thief. Yeah, so that means that elderly man is going to go to prison, probably. He's probably going to die in jail. Uh, will it help if I up my patronage for to $25 from $10 for a while at least? Well, every penny helps. Every penny helps. So, you know, getting money never hurts when it comes to trying to fund projects. Uh, I found a discounted this, this speed scarab for my new 10 millimeter. Well, that's nice. I have some DeSantis holsters. Uh, did they make the carry locks? I like those too. In 2008, Miami Beach Animal Control implemented cat spay, neuter, and release for stray cats. There are noticeably fewer stray cats there today. Yeah, it's, it's a good program. I support it. Uh, Jacoby, do you think... Do you think you utter the term were possum more than werewolf in your live chats? What's your preferred 357 Magnum load off the shelf in common stores? Well, what I buy is common. It's Underwood Extreme Penetrator. But like I said, if I'm just buying it out of the store, I only buy ammo from, from Minuteman Ammo. And I've got lots of specialty ammo in 357. So I always just grab, you know, as you can see back here behind me, uh, like the a box of the 125 grain XDPs, you know they go 1600 feet per second. 125 grains at 1600 feet per second. That's a pretty good boy. And it's cheap. You can get a big box of them, relatively inexpensive, and they're good enough to carry every day if you want to. If the end times come, I would rather have uh, 10,000 rounds of Minuteman ammo than I would 15,000 rounds of cheap crap. Uh, because I know I got 10,000 defense level rounds that'll work. And it costs about as much as getting 1,000 specialty rounds. So, and I would rather have the 10,000 of the Underwood than I would the 1,000 super powerful specialty rounds because the under, or not the Underwood, the Minuteman, because the Minutemans are almost as powerful, just as reliable. So, so you can't go wrong with them. Uh, what color? Would a wear possum paint your house? Well, whatever color you chose, they're not going to go against your choices. Uh, they're going to wait and see, you know, if you bought the paint and, you know, what you were planning on doing. And then they'll sneak in and paint it while you, after you've already brought the supplies home. So, you know, because you usually you don't buy the paint on the day you're painting. You buy it at least the day before to be ready. So they'll sneak in and do it that night. But they'll do use the color you chose. 
Um, where am I? Some women are so much bigger than their man, they could hurt him if they were on top in the bedroom. Well, yeah, that, that's true sometimes. Be honest, you got that shirt at a family reunion, didn't you? None of my family are possums. Uh, according to Hindu folklore, there are were tigers in India. Yeah, I don't believe in that either. Silliness. It's just silliness. Hindus, they're crazy. Uh, thoughts on the RIA 50 AE? Oh, I, I want 55.0E. I want one. I think they're very cool. I remember I saw one at Sporting Systems recently. I did a little short video on it. Uh, I was very uh, in, in, enticed by it. I loved them when I saw them at SHOT Show. Would like to have one. They're just very pricey. I cannot uh, afford one right now. And there's other things I want first. Like if I was going to spend the money on that, uh, I wouldn't. I would take that. How much was that thing? Let's see. Uh How much are them damn things? Uh, does it say here what the MSRP is? Yeah, they're around two grand almost. So before I would buy one of those, I would take that money and put it towards a, a Spore 3.0 club. You know, because that would pay more than half. So I'd rather do that. I'm going to be selling some stuff to buy the Spore anyway. So why buy more stuff? I end up having to sell at a loss to, to pay for it. Um, let's see, where are we? Uh, I got, I got to the chat late, so I missed the time date of the pizza party. Let me know so I can squeeze it in my calendar. Oh no, you weren't, you weren't invited. That's why we went ahead and planned it while you weren't here. Because we were like, oh, let's do it real quick before he gets here. So only the people that were already here know when and where. Nobody telling. Anybody who tells him is also uninvited. Uh, my condolences, were they converted to roadkill? I said no. They, no, I've never had any possums in my family. Period. Uh, John Baloney Jr. Haven't seen him in a while. So could Trump reverse all of Biden's executive orders and the ATF's new rules? Not that I believe he'll really do it. He could. He could reverse executive orders. He can't reverse the rule at the ATF because that went through the rule process. Uh, so I, they'd have to go through the same process again of changing the rules. Uh, wouldn't be immediate, but he could cause it to happen. But he's not going to. So. I don't even waste time thinking about it. Trying to pretend like someone we already know isn't a friend of the Second Amendment is going to suddenly become a friend of the Second Amendment if you give them power again uh, and they can't run again after this. You, yeah, that's that's kind of crazy to think that they're suddenly going to become a Second Amendment advocate. Uh, I spent as much on you a month as my lemonade for the month. Lemonade? a month. I can't drink lemonade. It's too sweet, too much sugar. Uh, I mean, I drink the lemonade like the, uh, what is it? That, uh, not country time. What's the one that doesn't have no sugar? Crystal Light. I drink that lemonade. I drink that a little bit. My mom has a big jug and because my mom's been staying with us. She's over my sister's right now. She'll be back Tuesday. Uh, she's got a jug in the refrigerator. Sometimes she makes tea. Sometimes she makes lemonade. And I swear to God, I got a little bit of that lemonade. It's like I thought that it was like, did you think we were making snow cones? So you made syrup? Ah, I make it thick so that if I make it uh, strong, so when you put it over ice, it's cold. Well, you could put this over an ice berg and it'd still be fucking too sweet. It was like syrup. It came out of the little nozzle thick. I'm like, good. And she makes her own lemonade. She doesn't use like a mix or anything. So it's very strong and very sweet. A lot of lemons floating in it and everything. It's really good, but oh, got it strong. I have to mix it like half water. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on Jacob Gray firearms? I don't have any because I don't even know who the fuck that is. I might want one because it has my first name. I don't have any fucking clue what Jacob Gray firearms are. I'll look and see. See if it rings any bells. 
Jacob Gray Firearms. Jacob Gray Firearms. Are they 2011s? Is that most of what it is? Double stack 1911 shootout. Uh, handguns. Let's see what they make as far as handguns. Mm, it looks like the TWC is what they make. 4.25 inch. What's the web exclusive? I don't know. It's not a bad looking gun. Uh, let's see what they make in the way of rifles. They make a couple like AR type thingies. But uh, it looks like the main thing would be their 2011 in my opinion. Let's see how much it... No! No! God, no. $2,500? I can get a brand that I know for that. Now, if I start hearing that, hey, these are the best guns around or they're really super nice guns. They look nice. I will give him that. They look really nice. I'll show an image here. Let's let people see what I'm looking at. Uh, share screen. For those of you that are actually watching and not just listening later, uh, I'm showing a picture of the gun, and it's a very attractive gun. I think it looks very nice, actually. It's got a mag well built in there. It's got a nice skeletonized hammer. Uh, looks like those are uh, RMR-ready sights. I like the design of the trigger. I like the design of the slide. I love those serrations. Those are very unique serrations. Almost look like bow tie serrations. So it looks very nice. Uh, I just don't know what the quality is. At that price, I hope it's very good. But I don't know that. So, uh, Do you like oatmeal hot or cold? Well, who eats cold oatmeal? Oatmeal is made hot. The way I make my oatmeal <clears throat> is I put about a cup of oatmeal in a bowl. And then I take a, a scoop of uh, stevia, put that on there. And then I do about seven or eight grinds from the salt grinder into it. And then I take it over to the sink and I fill it up to just to where the water rises to the top of the oatmeal and the oatmeal starts to float a little bit. bit. Now I stick it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. Uh, it's got to be the original oatmeal, not uh, the old fashioned oatmeal, not the instant oatmeal. Instant oatmeal is mush. Uh, it's regular oatmeal, just the regular old fashioned oatmeal. You put it in for two and a half minutes as ready. You just get it out, put some milk in it, chomp, chomp, chomp. I, I have it almost every night. Uh, Pete Gar says, what's your second choice in caliber in revolvers if 357 mag didn't exist? Uh, if 357 mag didn't exist, well, 44 mag. <clears throat> what is the button on the front of the trigger guard for? Oh, he's probably talking about that gun I just saw, but I, I don't have the picture of it up here let me get the picture back up um i don't think there was a button there i think that's part of the attachment no that's not a button that's just the screw holding the grip frame onto the body all the 2011s have that it's sometimes just a little phillips head screw sometimes it's something more like that it's just a, a silver head on the screw it's just a little torx screw instead of a regular screw Um, would you ever consider carrying a 1911? I've carried 1911 before, so of course I would consider it. I just don't want to. I like carrying my revolvers, no matter how many other guns I try. I like my revolvers. I used to go back to them. They are good for most every situation and better for most than any other gun. The only time they really fall down is if you're going to go see combat, and then you probably want more capacity. So I'd want a higher capacity 10 millimeter but uh so i'd want something more like my glock 20 if i was going into clock combat and i had to rely on a pistol but other than that short of me heading off to war uh intentionally sometime soon i i'll stick my revolvers oh excuse me now i'm getting the hiccups i thought eating salt was supposed to be good for the hiccups do you believe that pigeons are basically rats with wings? No, I'm pretty sure they're birds. Pretty sure they're birds. And we used to have something called city chicken back in the day uh, in school. And it was like a shish kebab thing. It was meat on a stick. And I think it was actually pork, if I'm not mistaken. 
uh, but they called it city chicken. And we used to tell my friend G uh, that it was pigeons. Like, you know, those pigeons you see at the playoffs with those pigeons. And he was grossed out by that and he wouldn't eat it because of that. Probably shouldn't lie to foreigners, but got to do what's fun sometimes, I guess. We got about 15 minutes left and then we are out of here. I'm out of soda now. So. Uh, let's see here. You got any other questions coming in? There ain't been no more orders or anything like that that I need to read. <clears throat> We're caught up on the super chats. How much do I have to spend a month to get a blue wrench? Oh, I, it's, it's an immeasurable amount of money. You wouldn't believe what those people pay for that. It's a lot. Uh, what is the proper depth of the strain screw on Smith? Should it generally be flush with the frame? You know, I don't think there is actually a proper depth. I don't think they're all the exact same because, you know, I don't think all the uh, 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 springs are exactly the same. So uh, I think it really varies from model to model. I, if I had to go through and look at most of mine, on the ones I can actually see it, which is very few, uh, well, I can see it on that one, and it's just about flush. How many can I actually see the strain screw on? Not many. Uh, there I can. It's a little more, it's a little inset on that one. Not in cell, in set. Uh, but that's only, I can only see it on two of them, because the rip's covered on the others. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's there's any like half a turn, you know, fully seated and then half a turn back. None of that kind of crap. It's per gun. <clears throat> Hi, Yankee Marshall, Ferris Fawcett or Cheryl Ladd? Well, I always preferred Cheryl Ferris Fer Fer Fawcett as a kid. Have you thought about what guns you might sell? I have. Uh, I'm thinking maybe any of my Colt. 1911s because I, I got 1911s. I got plenty of Dan Wessons and I've got others. And I need to get done with my uh, videos because if you look at my wall right now, you can see uh, that the guns are pointed in two different directions. Uh, and that's because the ones pointed to the left are ones I've already done a collection video on. And the ones pointed to the right, I have yet to do the video on. And I'm doing that as an incentive for me to get those videos done, to get that series done so that they'll all be facing the same way. Because it bothers me every time I walk in the door and I see that. And I'm like, ah, some of them are facing one way and some of them are facing the other. And I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to do on this wall before this wall is all facing the same way. And then I got my Berettas. And I don't know if I'm going to do like an individual video for each Beretta or if I'm just going to do like, Okay, here's all my 96s. Here's my 92s. Here's my compacts. You know, we'll see. Um, let's see. I'm all caught up on supers. Uh, uh, from a distance, you're, in your self-proclaimed internet gun expertise, how can you tell a Taurus revolver from a Smith & Wesson revolver from a distance? Well, Barrels are usually different. Underlugs are usually different. Hammers are usually different. Uh, the uh, 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 cylinder release is different. I mean, there's just all kinds of things you can tell from. I mean, now, if you're like, if it's like 100 yards, well, then you can't tell the difference. Now, at least I can't because I can't see that far. But if it's like from here into the other room, you know, or from here to the other side of the table, I can where I can't read the print on the gun, but I can still see the gun. Well, I can tell you can tell Taurus from it. Smith and Wesson fairly easily. Uh, if some if someone sends you a man here in MR73, they get lifetime blue wrench. Well, yes, of course. I had a bird related to pigeon in American Samoa, pretty tasty. Well, it's just a bird. I don't know what you all do in Puerto Mexico, but in America, we don't eat birds. Can anyone tell me what that line's from? Well, I don't know what you do in what you people do in Puerto Mexico, 
But here in America, we don't eat birds. Um, <clears throat> but seriously, I'm really thankful for your daily live chats. It's one of the few things I look forward to every day. Well, that's why I do them. One of the main reasons I do them. Uh, one, it does fund the Pets and Vets program. And we used to be Patreon did that. But Patreon wouldn't come close to doing it now if we didn't do this. Used to be YouTube would do it. But YouTube wouldn't come close now if we didn't do this. For days I don't do, like the days I do the member chat sometimes, my entire YouTube daily earning will be like three, four dollars. So, uh, and that's because of YouTube Red. So, uh, we have to do these because we don't get YouTube money and Patreon is sliding. So, this is about the only way we can even have a chance of keeping up with uh, pets and vets. And plus, people. You know, I could just quit doing pets and vets and have not have to do these every day, but people enjoy them. And I enjoy talking about guns and other topics and something I feel strongly about. So I want to do it. What do you think about cruise ships returning to the port of Camas Uh I didn't know that that was a possibility. Can't be very big cruise ships, but uh, I didn't know that was anything they were talking about. Uh, let me see if I can find anything about that. Cruise ships. Kimis, Washington. Let's see if there's. Kimis, uh, Washington, a one year contract with American Crew Line to be turning point. Are these smaller? Oh, yeah, these are smaller river cruises. You know, though, I kind of want to do one of these. Uh, so I would like that. I would love if I could just go down and get on right here in Camas. Uh, it says passengers won't disembark. Uh, it'd be nice if we could get on here or something. Uh, that would be nice. They're just little river cruises. Uh, you should do a list of all the guns that you have and list them each in order of what you like the best with the... No, I shouldn't. That's a whole lot of fucking work. Why the fuck would I want to do that? Uh, light blue oyster cult, Punva, if you're not a bootlicker, what's with all the reports of you defending the police in all circumstances and saying George Floyd deserved it because of his criminal record and opiate addiction? Well, yeah, I ain't done none of that. In fact, I'm one of the few gun channels that defended George Floyd. Everybody else piled on. Hey, he's criminal. He deserved to die. Uh, I don't do that shit. Uh, Castile, I was on his side. In fact, I got a lot of black people sent me messages saying thanks for being like the only gun channel that was supporting Castile. Uh, I know I saw a revolver that you or someone had that ejects 9mm without moon clip. I, I don't know if it was 9mm, but I know, uh, was it the Pitbull from uh, Charter Arms that was in 40 that actually did? Let's see. Uh, I think that one actually does have, yeah, no moon clips required. The Charter Arms Pit Bull 40. In the picture here, they still got the little bulldog on the uh, uh, barrel. In the ones I've seen since then, that is not on there. How much is that gun? I still kind of want it because it's got a pit bull on it, but it's they're just not good guns. They're just not well made. Let me get that out of the way there. Um, I know uh, I just read that. I started to read it again. Um, where was I? I do Patreon and subscribe star. Yes. And super chats every now and then. Um, but he doesn't, I ain't, I ain't never asked for no wrench. 
I don't think Ghost Shadow lacks responsibility. I think he's a loner. A rebel, Dotty. Uh, did anyone ever guess what that line was from I was using earlier? Karen Walker. Yes, it was Karen Walker. Uh, Tomcat got it, I know. I don't know if anybody else got it, but Tomcat got it. Uh, I don't know what you do in Costa Mexico. Rico. <clears throat> Uh, who won Friend of the Month? Oh, uh, let's see. What was their freaking name? I, they chose a gift certificate to Bass Pro. That's all I remember. Uh, it's not one of our normal people. Friend winners. There we go. Uh, Jay Simones or Simons. Uh, I think it's how it's pronounced. Spelled Simones, but I do believe it's pronounced Simons. Uh they won, and they got a gift certificate to Bass Pro. I didn't know there were Bass Pros in California, but there apparently are, and that was good because that made it a lot easier to deal with someone being in California. I just got a Bass Pro gift certificate. Uh, Pgar says, Subaru Crosstrek, do you have any experience with them in the snow? Uh, yes, I have. Well, I've got experience with Subaru uh, Outbacks in the snow, and also friends of ours had the cross trek and uh, it was very good in the snow. It did very well, uh, especially in like lighter snow where you're just worried about traction. The thing did really well. I was really surprised. The, the Our Subaru did exceptionally well in snow, etc. Now, I wouldn't want to take it out in the mud and snow up to the bumpers or anything. But uh, as far as on the roads, handling snow and ice stuff, yeah, they did very well. That little cross trek and that little Subaru we had, you put... Uh, Chains on the front wheels, you're going anywhere you want to go. As long as there's a road to get you there, no matter what the weather. Felix P. used his 32-month WAP chat to say, can a Beretta 92 9mm G change to a 9640? No. What well, can, you can trade that one in and buy the 96, but otherwise, no. Uh, is modern nine millimeter really as good as 45 ACP? Oh, I want, this is crispy bacon, by the way. Uh, I would say it's better than 45 ACP because 45 ACP is not a good round, really. All things considered, nine mil, modern nine millimeter is better than 45 ACP, but that's not saying much. That's like saying, as Jim Cornette is fond of saying, that's like saying they're the nicest guy in prison. It's not really a whole big compliment. Uh, how much a month do I have to give to get a blue rinse? Like I said, it's an incalculable amount of money. Incalculable. You'll never get to it. You'll, you, there's no way. There's, you just you have to be independently wealthy like Welper or Jumpy Killer Ox. Or, or I know it's not Ox. It's QX, but I always say Ox. Uh, you, like I said, you just got to be uh, independently wealthy. Like they are. Uh, what was I looking for over here? Hold on. I'm looking for something. Uh, why can't I find what I'm looking for? Uh, oop, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Where are we? Let me see. Where was I on questions? So a 15, 115 grain is better for a three and a seven inch barrel over 124 grain. Well, like I said, it's you can't just say that this grain weight is better for this barrel. I mean, you can generally say it because generally the lighter grain weights travel faster, but it's going to matter who makes that round. There's some rounds that are going to be different and that aren't going to be the best for that. Uh, like say, if you've got a... Uh, 115 grain bullet uh, and it's a cowboy load. Well, it's not better for the barrel, that shorter barrel. And, and also it depends on what do you consider better? Are you, what are you looking for? More power, more performance. Uh, of all the revolvers you own, which would be the one you would carry for duty that you wouldn't care about getting scratched or would save your life if needed, like a workhorse. Well, it'd probably be like a Ruger GP100, I would say. Uh, 
probably any of the Ruger GP 100s I have. Uh, that stainless four inch barrel one, I wouldn't care if it got scratched. It's engraved and it's pretty. But if I had to carry it every day, no, it has. I'm going to get scuffed up. I, I'd be all right with that. But I'd prefer to carry, I'd probably carry my three inch uh, that's not engraved because then I really wouldn't care about that one getting scuffed up. But uh, most of my guns, I wouldn't mind getting scuffed up if it meant I, it was going to protect my life. But uh, yeah, if I had to choose one that I didn't care about, that would probably be the one. Uh, oh, we're out of time. I got to do the count. Got to do the count. One, ha, ha, ha. Two, ha, ha, ha. Uh, let's go over here. I will count them up here. Three, four, seven, 10, 17, 20, 23, 24, 27, 34, 37, 40, 43, 46, 49, 52, uh, 55. So I got to generate a number between 1 and 55. One and fifty-five. Make sure no one tried to sneak one in at the last minute here. Ah, skid mark snuck in at the last minute. Uh, where does the money I give you from one of these things go to anyway? This would be pets and vets. And where does my member money go? Depends on where you're a uh, member through. If you're a member of the channel, well, then that just goes in the normal Patreon. That goes to pets and vets also. If you uh, are doing super chats, that's pets and vets. If you're a Patreon member, that's Pets and Vets, friend drawing, blah, blah, blah. If you're a subscribe star supporter or you buy merchandise, that's TYM Triple P. So hopefully that answers all that to you. Now I got to add some people to this. I got to add 15. So that'll put it at 70. Generate. Boom. 34. I got to count down. 34. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-one. Where am I going to? Uh, thirty-two, thirty-five, thirty-seven. And that would put light blue oyster cult as the 44. So light blue oyster cult is the winner today. Send me an email to shooting left of center at gmail.com in the subject line, put hat winner. And then in the body of the email, put what you really want, a hat, a t-shirt or a small flag. Let me know which one, what size, what color, whatever. And then give me your name and mailing address, address, address. So go do that. Uh, and you can choose from the new design if you'd like, or the fuck Joe Biden, or the fuck Joe Biden's ATF. You know, there's all kinds of different uh, ones over there. I got a lot of designs, and I've been gradually trying to get them back onto my YouTube thing. But I keep going through, and it'll be like, you have 400 items that have compatibility issues. And I go through, and I fix them, and then it'll, I'll go back. Like, I'll do them 50 at a time, and I'll go back, and you'll say, you have 350 items that have issues. So I'm like, yeah, I fixed some. And then I'll walk away for a few minutes, come back, and it'll say, you have 412 items. And I'm like, it just kicked out more than I just fixed. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, <clears throat> but uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything y'all do for the channel, whether it's supporting it financially or just watching videos or uh, thumbing up. And here's another thing. If you've got a, pay, if you've got a Facebook uh here, let me put the link to the one that I just started in here because I think I got to get a certain number of followers before I can actually assign it like a, a boutique name. So here, let me put this in here. See if you all can go to it. Uh, here's the link. Go over and follow me on Facebook if you can because I think you got to get a certain number of followers before you can make it a, a, a page with a, your name on it. So go on over and do that. I'm trying to get a Facebook page back. 
Uh, if you all have Facebook pages, share my freaking videos every day. Whatever I put up, share it on your Facebook page. Take one for the team. Go, go do it. Uh, but uh, otherwise, thanks for everything y'all do. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all again tomorrow, but tomorrow is a members only chat. So remember, you got to be a member to be there tomorrow. Uh, the cheapest way to do that is go over to Patreon, become a $1 a month member. Uh, it looks like some people are signing up over here on my PayPal, or not PayPal, uh, Facebook page. Uh, hopefully I'll get enough so I can change the name of it. Uh, but like I said, thanks everyone for everything you do. Tomorrow will be a members only chat. Best way, the cheapest way to sign up is go over and become a $1 a month member on Patreon. And then you have access to all of our membership stuff and the stuff that we do online on Patreon. Like when I put posts on Patreon where you can see things early, we talk about stuff, or sometimes you even see videos that no one else sees, uh, you'll get access to those as well. So go on over, become a patron. I'll see y'all again uh, either tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on whether you're a member or not. Till then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.